Good morning, early on families. This is Miss Jennifer here, and today we have another STEAM activity for you today. And today we're going to be doing some hanger balance. And I'm so excited to try this with you as I love math. I bet some of you do too. And I love counting. So we're going to try to figure some of this out. All you're going to need is you're just going to need like a container. Um, or I use these little fruit cups and just wash them out. You're just going to need some really heavy, um, sturdy string. I'm just using some of this um, little string I got from the dollar store. And then I'm just going to need some scissors, so be very careful with this. And you're just going to need a hanger with some of these um, little holes in them here, little um, gaps to um, put your hanger through like this. All right, so how we're gonna do this is what I did was I marked a little dot, it might be hard to see for some of you guys, on the fruit cup on each side with a little marker to make sure to where you wanna mark it. And you're just gonna wanna poke a hole through it, but you just gotta be very careful. So you gotta get mommy or daddy to poke the hole for you as I used some scissors, so I had to be very careful and be very safe with it. And I put, did it on both sides, so I made sure that they were both equally right across from each other. And then what you're going to do right after, when you poke those holes, is you're going to take some string. And you're going to make a length as long as you want and cut some off here. Slip, and it's going to go through the holes the side of your cup here. I'm just gonna use a, a little pen to poke the holes on the side to get it in there, because sometimes it, the hole may be too tiny for the string to go through. So this just kind of helps it get through there. Let's see here, there we go, pulled it through, and now I'm going to tie it up. Make sure to double knot it too, so now that it will hold anything heavy sometimes it might break apart so I'm gonna double knot it here nice and tight and you can cut off the little piece of access if you want so then it's not in the way so I'm just gonna cut off a little bit just like that and there's your first part of your hanger and then you're going to attach the other end so I'm just gonna use my pen here or my pencil and just poke through the hole just to make sure that it can get through to the other side. Let's see here. There we go. Oops. Didn't want to go through there. There we go. Got my piece of string through again, and we are just going to tie it up. Nice and tight, double knot it. Sometimes you might have mommy and daddy to help you with this, as sometimes tying can be very hard, but you can try if you'd like. There we go. I got my second one. I'm just going to cut off the little excess right there with the string. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And there we go. You have your two hangers. You should have at least two of them that you can use to hang stuff on. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use our hanger here and we're going to add our cups that we had just made. There's one. And here is two. And there we go. Look at that, my friends. One might be longer than the other, but that is okay. And there we go. So now what we're going to try is we're going to see what weighs more than the other. Because what's going to happen is you're going to hold it by the handle here and it's going to weigh to either the left or the right. So I have some materials here that we're going to try out. I have, I have an apple here. I have a rock. I have a block. And I have a necklace. So I just went around my house and found some things that I wanted to try out and see what was heavier. So I'm going to put my rock in one of these. 
let's see, my rock will go in this one and my necklace will go in this one. What one do you think will be heavier? Will it be the necklace or the rock? Let's find out. Are you ready, my friends? I'm gonna lift it up. So what? where is it leaning more towards? Is it leaning more towards the rock or the necklace? I'll back up a little bit. So look at, as I'm holding it, you can see the difference of which one is heavier as it is the rock that is the heavier one. It will slightly lean when it wants to be heavier. All right, so what could be heavier than the rock? So let's take out the necklace and let's try, hmm, should we try the block? I think we should try the block. So let's put in the block here. Sometimes it might tip over and that is okay. So let's see which one's heavier still. Oh, what's heavier? Is it the block or is it the rock? Hmm, I think it's the rock again. It, and it is leaning towards the rock more. Look at the difference. You can see the angle of the hanger leaning more towards the rock. So let's try one more. Let's see, is the apple heavier than the rock? Let's try that. I'm gonna put my apple in there. Let's see if it has enough strength to hold it. Oh, it's heavy. Apple doesn't want to stay in place. Oh. Which one's heavier? Is it the apple or is it the rock? Can you guys tell me in the comments which one do you think is heavier? Which, one, which way is it leaning more towards? I think it's the apple now. As you can see, it's tilted more to the right now than the left where the rock is. But I wonder if there's anything that will balance out together. So let's take out these and let's try something else. So let's try a block in a block. Let's see what happens. We're gonna put a block in each. And let's see, will they balance out each other? Let's see. Oops. I think they do. So look, when you add something of the same weight, so if you add one block to each, they will balance out each other. But if you add another block to another one, it will change the weight. So let's see what happens when I add another block. Oh, which side's heavier? It's the one with the two blocks. There we go right there. So that one, so this is some hanger balance math that you guys can try at home of different weights. So I used one block in this one and two blocks in this one. And which one's the heavier one? It's the one with the two blocks. But if I took out one right here, oops, one's gonna fall over. They balance out to be the same because they are the same amount. And that is our little hanging balance activity today. You guys can try this at home with your friends and your family. I love to test out new experiments here. So I tried so many different things I had in my house, like a rock, you can go outside and find them. You can go outside and try to find apple or go inside and try some food, maybe some cereal and see what's heavier than the other. But I hope you guys had a fun time with this fun hanging balance experiment with me today. And I would love to see you guys take pictures and send them to us of your STEAM activities as we enjoy seeing them. But you guys have a great day on this very rainy day. And we hope to see you guys soon on our next STEAM activity. I hope you guys have a great, great day. Bye, my friends.